Hi y'all, welcome back to my 14A build down here in Austin, Texas. Uh, here I'm just machine countersinking the 12 holes called for in the plans for the doubler on the front spar of the horizontal stabilizer. Uh, going through machine countersinking each of the holes, I'd marked them with a Sharpie to make sure I got the right ones and I also checked with a rivet to make sure that they are flush. After I had my uh, machine countersink tool all set up. There's Rocky coming out inspecting, make sure I'm I'm working hard on my RB14. Here I'm just removing the doubler that I just got done drilling. Have to go attend to the dog. Here I'm starting to deburr all the holes that I had matched drilled. That I matched drilled into the doubler. Being sure to make sure I get each hole in both sides of the doubler. Let the chips fly. Good portion of the RV14 build. There's a lot of a lot of deburn. Now I got a trick coming up of something that helps deburr these thicker parts that I'm gonna show you. So here, I've got a Dremel that I took a one inch deburring wheel and put it on, onto my Dremel so I can go through and quickly get all the rough spots. The little notch that you see there actually forms over time of just using the tool. It starts out flush and then it kind of wears in that notch which just makes deburring the edges easy. Here I'm working a little bit on the inside edges with my deburr tool that I couldn't quite get with the Dremel. So here's a little bit slower shot of that deburring tool using the Dremel. And you can see I can just kind of quickly go along the edges and deburr as I go. And I can use other sections to get the large knobs that I see on the edge of the doubler with the tool. But using the Dremel and the 3M deburring wheel really speeds things up. Now here's a little bit later in time. There's nine holes that has you drill into or, or countersink into the spar uh, flange. So I went through, marked each of the nine, grabbed a little another machine countersink tool and, and I kind of slowly s sneak up on the depth of the machine countersink because it's easier to remove material than it is to put it back. So you can see here I'm kind of fiddling with getting the t depth just right and checking it with the rivet until it's flush. Once I have it flush and all set up, then it's easy to just go through and machine countersink the nine holes. Yes, Rocky. So here I'm starting to get ready to deburr the ribs for the horizontal stabilizer. I won't make you step through there. This took a couple of hours removing the plastic and deburring all the holes, deburring all the edges. Um, so I skipped all of that, just turned off the camera because it was a lot of day burn, but it has to be done. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Leave any comments if you ha have any. Take care. Talk to you later, y'all.